this alley and mm -hmm. uh, in the vision he showed me what what it was going to look like he, sh he allowed me to uh, feel the sense of community uh, I smelled the smells and I heard the laughter and the joy and the music all of those things that we've experienced this week I heard I saw and heard in the vision all the senses all of those I was able to to uh, uh, I had those in the vision the vision came alive in both of us at that time. And of course, I was coming from the direction of what is it in this community that's going to bring unity in the church? And it had to be something like this. Yeah, yeah when you've got, um, last year there was about uh, 20 plus churches that were doing this together uh, from that perspective. And uh, not. Um, looking at the doctrinal issues, but just loving on each other. And this year, there's been more than 30 churches that have come together in this community. There's no charge. Uh, we uh, talked about that uh, last year, and we just felt like that was not God's heart in this. That uh, He says, freely you have received, and freely you give. The kids are loving it, and um, you've witnessed this firsthand. Yes, I have. That they are actually living in 29 AD. I mean, it's a real world for them. It's not. It's not just pretend. It's real. You know, the widow of Nain yesterday, when her son died, they, they, they. I mean, tears were shed. I mean, they were into it. It was real to them. Uh, they're calling Jesus by his Hebrew name, Yeshua, and it's uh, it's just it's precious to see how they respond to the uh, the lady who's a beggar in the alley and the blind beggar. Uh, their compassion for those people is just overwhelming. John, you know, it's a, um, when I watch the kids, uh, they. Um, it's not a situation where we've got enough time to teach them like we would teach them in a classroom. It's all hands-on experience that these children just, I mean, they just gravitate towards and grab hold of, like immediately. And so, and when they're in the tribe tents for 10 or 15 minutes and the, the, their tribe leaders are teaching them and sharing with them, they're just all ears because they want to they hear, they want to they, they wanna grab hold of and they want to touch this stuff. And so when we take them to these different shops and they go into the pottery and they, they're kind of on the same beat with the kids from a teaching perspective, but yet they're experiencing and being able to touch it. And when they go to music and when they go to the leather shop and when they go to the synagogue school and when they go to their herb shop and all of the shops, it's um, you just, you're watching them just take this stuff in. It's really an experience for them that um, I think they'll understand their their Jewish roots and, and what it was like when Jesus was a boy in a street very similar to the way this looks. The memories. <laughs> My favorite thing about Marketplace is the memory because it changes your heart. Yeah. It touches your heart and it changes your heart forever. Thank you for joining us to learn more about Marketplace 29 AD. This educational Bible experience has been an amazing display of unity in the Marie, Kentucky community. It's given school-age kids a chance to learn more about Jesus' life in a Jewish family. For the event, the alley behind Murray Family Church is transformed into a first-century marketplace full of shops and dancing, music and teaching. About 30 local congregations, as well as many businesses and individuals, were involved making the second year of Marketplace possible for 136 kids in October of 2012. 
We hope Marketplace continues in 2013, and we would love for you, your family, and your congregation to be a part of it. More information is available online at marketplacemurray.com or by calling Jan Sargent at 270-227-2857. That's 270-227-2857.